Welcome to St. Andrew's Daily Prayer for Sunday, December the 18th, the fourth Sunday of Advent. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Reveal among us the light of your presence, that we may behold your power and glory. Blessed are you, sovereign God of all, to you be praise and glory forever. In your tender compassion, the dawn from on high is breaking upon us to dispel the lingering shadows of night. As we look for your coming among us this day, open our eyes to behold your presence and strengthen our hands to do your will, that the world may rejoice and give you praise. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. A reading from Psalm 147. But the Lord delights in those who fear him, who put their trust in his steadfast love. Sing praise to the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion. For he has strengthened the bars of your gates and has blessed your children within you. He has established peace in your borders and satisfies you with the finest wheat. He sends forth his command to the earth, and his word runs very swiftly. He gives snow like wool, and scatters the hoarfrost like ashes. He casts down his hailstones like morsels of bread, who can endure his frost? He sends forth his word and melts them. He blows with his wind, and the waters flow. He declares his word to Jacob, his statutes and judgments to Israel. He has not dealt so with any other nation. They do not know his laws. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Great are you, O Lord, and mighty in power. Send your peace anew into this world, we pray, and help us to honor your word and your law. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our gospel reading today is from Luke chapter 1, verses 26 to 38. In the sixth month, The angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one. The Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb, and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great, and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. And now your relative Elizabeth, in her old age, has also conceived a son, and this is the sixth month for her who was said to be barren. For nothing will be impossible with God. Then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. Behold, I am coming soon, says the Lord. I am the root and the offspring of David. I am the bright morning star. By the power of the Spirit, and in unity with Christ, trusting always in God's life-giving intent for creation, let us pray. Lord, we pray for your world. Where there is despair, bring hope. Where there is brokenness, bring peace. Where there is emptiness, bring joy. Where there is fear, bring love. Lord of glory, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for your church in all places around the world, across Canada, and in our own cities and towns, that we may together be bright and shining beacons of hope, peace, joy, and love this Advent season. Lord of glory, Hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for all people in the cities and towns and villages in which we live, that every person might have what they need to flourish, 
food and shelter, supportive, loving relationships, meaningful work, and a sense of personal dignity and their great value as human beings. Lord of glory, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for those who are in need in this season in which our celebrations are so deeply intertwined with your blessings of family and friends, we remember those who are lonely and in need of companionship. Teach us how to reach out to those who are alone this Advent and invite them into our church family. Lord of glory, hear our prayer. We pray that the love we know in Christ will nourish and nurture our love until we conform to the pattern of Christ's life. Lord of glory, hear our prayer. Lord God, as we prepare our hearts to receive your Son, give us his humility that we may know him in the lives of others. Give us his honesty that we may speak out against all that brings cruelty and violence. And give us his joy that we may come to know this whole world as your gift, so that in all that we do and say, his presence would be made known and his name glorified. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. May the Lord, when he comes, find you watching and waiting. Amen. Amen.